Preface to the Russian Language Book. This book is just a sketch of the panorama of the greatest wisdom unfolding before us in the evenings that Master has dedicated to us. We have conveyed the essence of the lectures correctly and accurately, but inevitably I had to greatly reduce the live oral presentation and not to cite examples from life that so vividly and wittily illustrated the thoughts and positions expressed. Therefore, it is necessary to meditate upon the text very much in order to extract from it everything that was transmitted at the lectures. We have also included here all the elementary instructions regarding the development of intuition and the power of realisation. Whoever, having studied this encyclopedia, applies the instructions contained within it, can fearlessly take up the special branches of those stages of the initiation into occultism, which can be briefly characterised by the terms Kabbalistic, Magical and Hermetic cycles. Perhaps next year it will be possible to print the contents of these special initiation courses, since this does not contradict the duty of the secret of the initiates, the vow of secrecy. In the meantime, the appearance of this information would be premature and even harmful. The course of the encyclopedia that I publish is based on the Tarot Major Arcana. For the convenience of readers, it was possible to attach an article by B. M. Priamina Morozova, referred to by the lecturer in the presentation of the fourth arcanum. According to tradition, the Memphis priests predicting the fall of Egyptian civilization concealed their knowledge in the form of a deck that is now known by the name and bequeathed to the profane knowing that through repetition such knowledge would achieve posterity. The most important factors in the life of an intelligent person are the degree of consciousness of life and the degree of realisation power granted to this person. The desire for the so-called dedication is the pursuit of one or another element, and most often both. Initiation is based on the so-called arcanum or secrets. Here it will be appropriate to find out the difference in the meanings of the three terms, secretum, arcanum, mysterium. Secretum is something that several people on a whim, fantasy or for some everyday reason agree to hide from others. Arcanum is a mystery whose knowledge is indispensable for understanding a certain group of facts, laws or principles. Without the knowledge of the arcanum, nothing can be done in the moment the need for such understanding arises. Arcanum is a mystery accessible to a sufficiently diligent intelligence in this sphere. In its broad sense, the term Arcanum includes all theoretical science referring to any practical activity in a given field. Mysterium is a harmonious system of Arcana and secrets synthesized by a certain school as the basis of its worldview and the measure of its activity. Today, the term Arcanum is important to us. An arcanum can be expressed orally, by writing a common language, or even symbolised. The ancient initiatory centres used a third form of arcana transmission and recorded them symbolically. We can distinguish three types of symbolism. The symbolism of flowers and colours. The symbolism of geometric figures and paintings. And the symbolism of numbers. There has come to us the grandiose monument of the symbolism of the Egyptian schools in which three types of symbolic presentations come together in a deck better known as the Gypsy Tarot or Tarot of the Bohemians and it's composed of 78 cards or letters, 22 plus 56. These letters represent the so-called archangels and they consist of 22 major arcana and 56 minor arcana. So we will consider tarot as a scheme of the metaphysical worldview of the ancient initiates. But each nation has its own worldview, namely the language of this nation. If moreover the people have a written language, then the elements of the language are represented by its alphabet. Thus our tarot will be a kind of initiatory alphabet. The general outline of the illustration will be the outline of the language of this alphabet. Details of the illustrations, their shades and colours, with our comments on these signs. We will associate the 22 major arcana of tarot with the hieroglyphs of the Hebrew alphabet. 
The signs of this alphabet are assigned certain numerical values in the order in which we will consider them, bearing in mind the motto of the race, or by number, measure, weight. In one way or another, a numerical representation is associated with each card. These images, according to legend, were placed on the walls of subterranean galleries, which the neophyte penetrated only after a series of tests. Each letter, in one way or another, corresponds to a numerical value, according to, to tradition. The tarot is considered a scheme of the worldview of initiates of antiquity. It is true that people have their own vision of the world expressed by their language. If an individual makes use of writing, language elements are also presented in the alphabet. Consequently, the tarot can be considered as an initiatory alphabet. The trump cards represent the letters of this alphabet. The details of the cards and the shades of their colours constitute symbolic details about those letters. We proceed to the arcana.